Yes, good evening everyone. So as you are aware that we have uh, done up to this 14.3 uh, uh, exercise and we have done up to this sum, right? Now we'll be continuing uh, after this, okay? Now what is given? The lengths of 40 leaves of a plant are measured correct to the nearest millimeters and the data obtained is represented in the following table, okay? They have given. Now you can see it's a discontinuous data, you can see that. The data is discontinuous. So you have to make it continuous. I hope you are aware how we can make it continuous, right? Subtract 0.5 and add 0.5. So you can make it continuous. Find the median length of the leaves. You just have to find the median. Now how do you find the median? Whatever the number of leaves, whatever the frequency is, based on that, you will be able to find the frequency. Sir. Yeah. Sir, we need to take 26.5, like 118 to 26.5 and then 26.5 to 135. It should be 100. No, no. You have to subtract over here 0. 0.5 also. That is 117.5 to 126.5. Got it? I will be doing this sum. Okay. Now see over here. How to do this? First, we'll make a table for a continuous data. And we need to find what? We need to find median only in this. So for median, we need... Sir, but why we will take it as 117.5? Because... The data is not continuous, no? See over here, 126. Suppose there is a reading, which is between 126 and, suppose there is a reading, length in mm or meter, it is 126.2. So where you will put it? Yeah, in which data you will put? That is a problem. That's why the, the given data is discontinuous. So you have to make it continuous. <coughs> Got it? So let us solve this. To find the median, you need a table of uh, three columns. So we'll take the table. Wait, I think the table is already there. No, fine, we'll do use this one. Fine. Now they have given the lengths of 40 leaves, right? So 118 point 118 to 126. So first, what we will do? <coughs> we'll make the data continuous. Length in mm. We'll write over here. Length in mm. And the readings are 117.5 to 126.5. Then this will be 126.5 to 135.5. Then this will be 135.5 to 144.5. Sorry, 144. Yeah, 144.5. What is the interval over here? 26 minus 17, that is 9. So the class interval is 9. <coughs> then this will be 144.5 to 153.5. This will be 153.5 to 162.5. This will be 162.5 to 171.5. And this will be 171.5 to 180.5. Okay. We'll make some more rows. Okay. Fine. This was your length in mm. And then they have given the number of leaves. So let's write this also, number of leaves. Okay. They were 359. 359. 9, 12, 5, 4, 2. Okay, these are what your number of leaves. So whenever you have to find median, so what table you have to make? You have learned this in the last class also. What Which table you have to make? Cumulative frequency. Yeah, cumulative frequency you have to make. Right, so if I want to make the cumulative frequency, this will be 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 12 is uh, 29. 29 plus 5, 34, 34 plus 4, 38, and 38 plus 2, that is 40, right? So your summation of F is 40. This is what your cumulative frequency. Since we know, since N is equals to 40, which is even, which is even. So for even, what is the median? The median is... So if you don't remember, you can see to it, if you have four readings, then what you have to do? If you have four readings, A1, A2, A3, and A4, 
right so you have to take the average of this two right so it's again even right so what you have to do n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation divided by 2 that is n by 2 observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation so it's an odd number that are total 7 divided by 2 it's 40 no the number of observations are 40 yeah yeah it's even so your median will be n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation so that is uh, 40 by 2 that is 20th observation plus 21st observation divided by 2 now you see to it that whether 20 and 21st observation comes in the same row or not you can see this 29 is there the 20th observation and the 21st observation both will come in this so what we can say the median class is therefore the median class is is what 144.5 to 153.5 okay and then to find the median we have a formula how do you find the median the median is equals to the lower limit plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the previous of the class preceding the median class divided by f into h h is the class interval so l is the lower limit of the median class the lower limit is 144.5 plus n by 2 n is 40 by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class that is 17 upon f frequency of the median class 12 into h class interval of the class class interval that means what is the gap between all this class that's 9 so you can write 9 over here okay so this will be 144.5 plus 20 minus 17 by 12 into 9 right so this is 3 3's are 3 4's are so what do you get 144.5 plus 20 minus 17 that is 3 by 4 into 3 that is 9 by 4 so 144.5 plus 9 by 4 now 9 by 4 is how much 144.5 plus 9 by 4 is 4 2s are 8 1 carry over 4 2s are 8 2 carry over 4 5s are 20 so it will be 2.25 so if you add both of them it will be 146.75 no yeah 75 146.75 therefore the median length of length of leaves is 146.75 centimeter centimeter or millimeter what it is millimeter that is in terms of millimeter is that clear to everyone it's as simple as we have done before also right it's still the same kind of sum yeah nothing change now if i take the next sum see almost all the sums are almost equal only still I'll show it to you how we can solve now the next thing which you have is the following table gives the distribution of the lifetime of 400 neon lamps they have given the lifetime of a 400 neon lamps find the median lifetime of a lamp easy the same thing you have to solve next hundred surnames were randomly picked up from a local telephone directory and the frequency distribution of the number of letters in the English alphabet in the surnames were obtained means the number of letters in a single in a each surname so what you have to find determine the median number of letters the same thing yeah the, the classes are continuous just have to do the same data it is no changes same kind of sum also find the model size of the surname how do you find the mode I have already taught you how to find the mode also how to find the mode that it is different in CBSC as uh, as well as in ICSC in CBSC uh, the mode has been found by using uh, the calculation the formula and in ICSC it is to be done using a histogram this class is for CBSC as well as ICSC both combined 
which you have in common everything is same yeah the next now let's let me take the seventh question also complete the distribution below gives the weight of 30 students of a class find the median weight of the student the same the same question it is yeah the data is continuous the number of students they have given you have to use the same formula and solve it okay now the next question now the next is graphical representation of a cumulative frequency distribution okay the next is graphical representation now in the graphical representation we will be making an ogive cu curve okay what is ogive curve this ogive curve will be drawn using cumulative frequency okay curve is drawn this curve curve is drawn curve is drawn using cumulative frequency cumulative frequency and median is found in this we can find what is the median we can also find what is lower quartile upper quartile but lower quartile upper quartile are there only for ICSE student not for CBSE student okay so we'll be learning how to find the median in this using uh, this ogive curve now c to it will be directly taking the sums how to make the ogive curve I'll, I'll be telling you over there only we just have to make the cumulative frequency and find the median fine so now as you can see the next uh, question on the screen what they have given the following distribution gives the daily income of 50 workers of a factory convert the distribution above to a less than type cumulative frequency distribution what is less than type i'll explain you you have to convert this into a cumulative frequency distribution and draw its ogive and then find its median also okay now how to draw this ogive again uh, we'll take the table just a moment just have to make the cumulative frequency again the same way as we was doing the the previous sums okay so as you can see this will be daily income and over here number of workers yeah and over here we'll be making the cumulative frequency if you may if you want to make the less than cumulative frequency it is the same kind of cumulative frequency which you use which you was doing usually right but if you have to make more than type cumulative frequency then it there will be a small difference we'll be telling you how to make that also so first let's write the data from 100 to 120 you have this from 120 to 140 from 140 to 160 160 to 180 then 180 to 200 fine number of workers as they have given 12 14 8 6 and 10 right now let's make the cumulative frequency the same way 12 12 plus 14 that is uh, 12 plus 10 22 plus 4 26 plus 8 36 minus 2 34 this is 40 40 plus 10 50 okay over here we are done with the cumulative frequency now we'll be using a table uh, we'll be using a graph to make the cumulative frequency graph okay just a moment okay we'll have to make it on this graph now as you can see the cumulative frequency are uh, this daily income is starting from 100 to 200 okay it starts from 100 and it's end at 200 and the cumulative frequency is also starting from uh, it's from 12 to 15 right the cumulative frequency will always be drawn on y-axis and whatever this x will be there the daily income or whatever the readings you have to draw it on the x-axis see over here. fine now the readings are starting from how much 100 to 120 right so what we'll make we'll make over here we'll start from 100 over here this point is 100 we'll consider this as 120 okay this point as from 120 to what it is 140 160 and so on this will be 140 this will be 160 this will be 180 and then 200 since the graph is very small length so we'll make we'll take a gap of 2 so what we will do if this is 100 we'll take this as 120 this as 140 this as 160 
this has 180 this has 200 find this all points for this all point fine now why I have drawn like this because it is not starting from 10 right that's why I have drawn like this if you are starting from 0 so you don't have you have to draw a straight line over here right since you are not starting from 0 so you have to make like this a broken ray ray okay and the frequencies will always start from 0 to uh, 50 right so let's make it let's say this is 0 this is um, how many you have 50 no so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and then this will be your 50 fine now the readings which you have from 100 to 120 you have the cumulative frequency as 12 so 100 to 120 you have cumulative frequency as 12 so you take the reading at the middle of this got it yeah the next from 120 to 140 what you have 26 so write that 26 from 120 to 140 you have to take it as 26 this is 25 so above it this will be 26 fine the next 140 to 160 it is 34 this will be 34 34 will come just below 35 over here fine next is 40 so in this line you have to mark 40 so over here fine after this uh, this 180 to 200 it is 50 this is 50 fine now what you have to make you have to make a curve joining all the points joining all the points you have to make a curve so if I make a curve right this is what the curve which I've got by joining all the points now if I want to find the median you can find the median fine so if I want the median the median will be the total number of readings are 50 so if I want to find median what we can say since n equals 50 so your median will be will be which reading 25th yeah the 25th observation yeah median will be but wait the average of 25th and 26th observation because n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation but still you can take 25th or 26th observation that is fine okay since you are do doing it from the graph right so your median will be 25th observation right you can take n by 2th observation also okay uh, so what will be the 25th observation so for that what we can make we'll make a line over here like this the 25th observation as you can see it will be over here and if you draw a line if you drop a line from here to this you get what is the median so what is the median which you are getting over here this will be 130 this will be 125 let's say this is 126 or 127 you can say right so your median is 127 equals 127 that's it what is this the daily income median daily income is how much 127 right see even we we know how to find the median by using uh, the calculation yes or no we know it by using calculation also no so let's find let's try finding median by using calculation also let's see how close we are coming with graph and by using calculation so what was the formula to find the median the lower limit plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class divided by f into the class interval right this was the formula to find the median the lower limit of the median class since it's a 25th observation the median class will be the 25th observation will be over here 
the 25th and 26th both will be in this class yes or no yeah so the lower limit is 120 plus n by 2 total are 50 divided by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class the cumulative frequency is 12 upon frequency what is f frequency of the median class that is 14 into class interval the class interval is 20 we should not maybe we we'll should we should get just close by okay so it will be 25 minus 12 by 14 into 20 25 minus 12 will be 13 so this will be 120 plus 13 by 14 into 20 two sevens are two tens are so 130 divided by 7 so this equals 120 plus 130 divided by 7 so if I solve 130 divided by 7 using calculator I am solving 130 divided by 7 gives you 18.57 okay so if I add it will be 138.57 and uh, according to this the median is 127 uh, wait 25th observation this is 120 127 yeah we are getting that and with using calculation we are getting 138 so we should be getting a close by value using calculation and by using the graph okay understood both the methods are different methods so you'll be getting a close by value it's not the exact value okay understood how to solve by using graph and how to solve by using calculation yeah this will be the method by using ogive curve ogive curve this is said as ogive curve this which is made using cumulative frequency clear yeah okay. yeah now you have two more questions uh, on the same and uh, wait now for the ICSC student I'll explain you over here only for the ICSC student you also have to find what is the lower quartile and upper quartile okay sometimes it is asked in your boards that is what is lower quartile and upper quartile the lower quartile is actually the one fourth and the upper quartile is the three fourth position we'll tell you wait this is there up to for CBSC and if you want to find what is lower quartile okay the lower quartile will be n by fourth observation if n is odd then it can be n by 4 sorry n plus 1 by 4 fourth observation this is for even this is for odd okay this is what your lower quartile if the n is even or odd and uh, if uh, if you want to find what is upper quartile the same type of graph you have to make okay only this part is extra and lower quartile is said as q1 and upper quartile is said as q2 and this is given by 3n by 4th observation or it will be said as 3n 3 into n plus 1 by 4th observation over here also this is for even if n is even and this is for if n is odd okay these are the two things which you need to remember for lower quartile and upper quartile okay so for the same data if I want to find what is lower quartile for the same data if I want to find what is lower quartile lower quartile that is q1 will be equal to the the value of n is how much the value of n is 50 so it will be 50 by fourth and 50 is even number right so 50 by fourth observation that is 12.5 5th observation okay 12.5 so you can take 12.5 value so 12.5 where it will come so if you make the line over here 
12.5 it will be over here wait so you can write if I want to find the 12.5th observation okay your 12.5 will come over here and it starts only over here so you can write the, the lower quartile as 110 okay and the upper quartile the answer for this will be the 12.5th observation the answer is 110 okay and if you want to find what is upper quartile upper quartile will be 3 into 50 by 4 fourth observation okay so that is 12.5 uh, into 3 12 into 3 36 37.5 37.5 fifth observation so if you take 37.5 over here this one 37.5 over here and draw a line from over here which gives you 160 so upper quartile is 160 your upper quartile is 160 got it this will be said as your q2 this all things you have in icsc board not in cbsc okay the lower quartile and upper quartile this is the only extra and the the next thing which you have is interquartile range interquartile range and that interquartile range will be given by q2 minus q1 that is q2 is 160 and q1 is 12 point, uh, 110 so subtract both of them so your interquartile range is 50 that's it this is the only extra thing which you have in icsc rest all are same clear how to find the upper quartile lower quartile and interquartile range okay in the measures of central tendency you have one more thing in extra which is uh, to find mode you have to use histogram that will be taught in the in the evening class when I'll be starting this is clear everyone how many of you have understood how to find the median using the cumulative frequency distribution graph or by drawing the ogive curve please raise your hands everyone if you have understood fine done now if you see the next problems which you have yeah so during a medical checkup 35 students of a class their weights were recorded as follows draw a less than type ogai for the given data now what they are asking you have to make a less than type less than type ogai curve there is only a small difference that's it rest all part is safe we'll tell you what is less than type uh, ogai curve hence obtain the median weight from the graph and verify the result by using the formula also what they are saying you have to verify the result using the formula also the formula method which we know by for median so you can use that to find the median and you can use the graph also to find the median yeah so let's solve this question okay so now if I want to start this question they have already given the data in less than 38 less than 40 less than 48 less than the given frequencies which they have given they are they are already in less than frequencies less than type ogai so you they have already given the frequency so you don't need to do anything just take this data and less than 38 so 38 then what you will make see this data you can change you don't have to change this data you it will be same this will be less than 38 no so it will be uh, what exactly it will be less than 38 so yeah you can uh, write it as 36 to 38 you can write this to 38 to 40 this from 40 to 42 yeah and this you have to make the graph and the ogive curve and whatever the median is you take you draw the horizontal line and vertical line you'll get the median understood this this will be very easy the same way yeah now the next question the last question for the chapter statistics now again over here the following table gives production yield per hectare of a wheat of 100 farms of a village change the distribution to a more than type distribution and draw its ogive ogai. now more than type means what see if i want to make the more than type table yeah see what they are saying 50 to 55 there are only number of farms are only two 
so what we have but what we have to make more than type distribution so how you'll make so we'll write uh, the production yield we'll write over here production yield since they made they are they have asked you to make the more than type table so we'll write over here more than 50 more than 50 more than 50 means all of them will be come will come in this yes or no see you have the production yield as 50 to 55 number of farms are 2 55 to 60 the number of farms are 8 60 to 65 number of farms are 12 so what will be the number of farms for more than 50 all of them yes or no all of them will come for more than 50 so yes sir that the cumulative frequency which you have for over here the frequency which you have for here that is 2 8 12 24 38 and 16 so over here for more than 50 you will have the frequency as your cumulative frequency will be 100 yeah after that if i want to find what is more than 55 more than 55 means it will come this this all will come in more than 55 yes or no they all will come so for more than 55 if you want to add all of them that means you have to subtract this two from the total so 100 minus 2 you get it as 100 minus 2 you get it as 98 similarly 98 minus 8 that is 90 and so on do it so for more than 60 it will be 90 peoples if you if you add all of them if you add this part getting it yes or no yeah similarly more than 65 sir question yeah please ask uh, sir in this case uh, it is written more than 50 so what if uh, one of them is 50 then would it be counted it will be counted it will okay. be counted more than or equal what? to 50 more oh, okay. yeah it will be counted in this yeah because the, the table is starting from more than 50 no so it will be counted yeah even we don't know what is this two readings the two reading the number of farmers they got two farmers but what we know we do not know it whether it is 51 or 50 or 52.5 so you can directly take it yeah so over here for more than 65 what we did 100 minus 2 98 98 minus 8 90 90 minus 12 that is uh, 78 yeah similarly more than 70 then more than 75 so 78 minus 24 8 minus 4 4 7 minus 2 is 5 4 14 minus 8 is uh, 4 and 4 that is 6 and uh, 6 4 minus 3 that is 1 so this cumulative free with by using this as the cumulative frequency you have to draw the graph this time Okay, now see over here, I'll, I'll make the graph. And we'll start from between. So it will be what, what data they have given. For more than 50, right? We have data from more than 50. So we'll start from over here, 50. Then we'll write over here, 55, 60. 65 70 75 up to what you have up to that you have more than 75 only so we are making a more than ogive curve over here right so for more than 50 how much you have 100 let's take the frequency on the y-axis so 50 minus 50 10 minus 10 15 15 minus 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 15 you can also leave one one line 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Okay. So first is for more than 50, it is 100. More than 50 comes on with this line. So 100 is over here. This point will come. 
the next is more than 55 it is 98 more than 55 is on this line it's 98 so it will come over here 95 and uh, 98 over here yeah the next more than 60 it is 90 more than 60 it is 90 over here yeah after that uh, more than 60 is done more than 65 it is 78 let's make it as 78 over here this is 78 will be over here yeah next is 54 54 50 over here 55 54 over here yeah after that after 54 what you have 16 so let's make 16 also 16 will be 15 over here and 16 over here okay after that what you have to do you have to join all these points fine so we have made a curve for this now if you want to find what is the median for this what you have what you will do to find the median to find median what is the value of n that is 100 your median will be 50th observation yeah your median will be 50th observation so what is your 50th observation draw the lines for that so your 50th observation will be from here it will come over here from here it will come over here got it so what would be this reading this reading would be 71 yes or no if this is 70 and this is 75 this would be approximately 71 so what we can say the median is 71 yeah Now let us also calculate, they have asked you to draw it with calculation also. Change and distribute to a more than type distribution, draw it so jive. That's it. Understood. This is clear to everyone how to make the ojive curve. Yeah. That's it. So in this, uh, an extra thing which you will be having for ICSC, that is lower quartile and upper quartile. The same way. For Q1, you have to do one-fourth of. Uh, the total observation and uh, for Q2 you have to do three-fourths of the total observation and you will get the lower quartile and upper quartile and if they ask you interquartile range so Q2 minus Q1 that will be your interquartile range clear yeah yeah so over here we are done with the topic that is statistics